Hi, this is Teacher Marie and this is Mat Pinasayon Episode 1. So friends, this is how to compute discounts, interest, and passing score mentally and fast. Once again, this video is about percentages, specifically how to compute discounts, interests, and passing scores. So unahin natin yung discount. Usually, yung discount is 10%, 20%, 50%. So, this technique that I'm going to um, discuss here would be based on 10%. So, mauna tayo sa 10% kasi ito yung pinaka madali. So, bear in mind for 10%, ang technique dyan is just to move the point, it's the decimal point, one place to the left. Okay, one place to the left. Again, move the point one place to the left. Example, what is 10% of 200? 10% of 200. So, simply, yung 200, yung decimal point, uh, decimal point ng 200, nasa end ng last na zero. So, basically, itong decimal point na ito, we just move this one place to the left. So, that becomes 20.0. O, yung zero, i-delete na natin itong zero. Okay? So, magiging 20. So, 10% of 200 is 20. O, di ba? Ang dali. So, let's have exercises. 10% of blank. O, halimbawa, yung 500. So, 10% of 500. That is 50. Bakit 50? Kasi yung decimal point na nandito, imumove lang natin one place to the left. So, that's 50.0. Or, i-delete yung 0. And, we have 50. Next, 10% of 250. So, again, we move the point one place to the left. So, that becomes, yes, 25. Next, 45. 10% of 45. So, again, yung decimal point, move natin one place to the left. So, that's 4.5. Alright. Yung 1.5 naman. 10% of 1,500. So, one place to the left. So, that becomes 150. Very good. And, paano naman yung hindi zero? Oh, we have here 299. So, i-move natin one place to the left. So, that becomes 29.9. Very good. So, 10%. Pag na-master nyo, nyo na yung 10%, Madali na masyado to compute the other percentages. Okay. Halimbawa, yung 20%. Oh, an item is on sale for 20%. 20 is, of course, 10 plus 10. So, based on 10%, 20% is just 10% plus 10%. Okay. Example. What is 20% of 200? 20% of 200. So, pag na-master na natin yung 10%, automatic, ba? Yung 10% is just, we move one place to the left. So, 20. So, 20 plus 20. 20 plus 20, we have 40. Okay? So, 20% 20 of 200 is 40. Now, let's have some exercises for 20%. So, 20% of 500, ang 10% ng 500 ay 50. So, 50 plus 50, that's 100. 20% 20 of 250, 10% ay 25. 25 plus 25, that gives you 50. 20% 20 of 45, 10% niyan ay 4.5. 4.5 plus 4.5, that's 9. 20% of 1,500. Ang 10% ay 150. So, 150 plus 150, that gives you 300. 20% 20 of 299. So, 10% ay 29.9. Kung i-round off natin ito, masyadong mala, 0.1 na lang, magiging 30 na. So, pwede natin gamitin yung 30. 30 plus 30, that's 60. Yung kulang natin, dalawang 0.1. 
So, dalawang point 0.1, that's point 0.2. So, yung 60 minus point 0.2, that will give you 59.8. So, ang 20% ng 299 ay 59.8. For 5%, Ang 5% naman, kalahati ng 10%. Example, 5% of 200. So, ang 10% ng 200 ay 20. So, kalahati ng 20 ay 10. So, 5% ng 200 ay 10. Exercises for 5%. So, 5% of 500, ang 10% nito ay 50. So, kalahati ng 50 ay 25. 5% of 250, 10% nito ay 25. So, kalahati ng 25 ay 12.5. 5% of 45, ang 10% niyan ay 4.5. So, kalahati, na, kalahati ng 4.5 is 2.25. 5% ng 1,500, 10% nito ay 150. Kalahati ng 150 ay 75. 5% ng 299, ang 10% nito ay 29.9. So, pwede natin siyang i-round off ng 30. Okay. So, para uh, yung 30, kulang tayo ng 0.1. Okay, 0.1 or 0.10. So, kalahati ng 30 ay 15. Yung kalahati ng 0.1 or 0.10 is 0.5. So, yung 15, minusan natin ng 0.5. So, magiging 14.95. Alright? Yung 50% naman, kalahati ng number. Okay? Half of that particular number. Example, what is 50% of 200? So, kalahati ng 200, that's 100. Okay? Let's have some exercises. Ito, dalawang exercises lang since napakadali nito. 50% of 500, kalahati ng 500, that's 250. 50% of 10, kalahati ng 10, that's just 5. Okay, so ito yung challenge natin. Halimbawa, pumunta ka ng mall. Uh, sa isip mo, bibili ka ng blouse na swak sa budget mo. So, you did see blouses. Uh, merong, may dalawang blouse ka na nakita na gusto mo yung design. Yung blouse A, ang original price niya is 300 pesos with 50% off. Yung blouse B naman, original price is 200 pesos and naka-sale siya ng 20% off. Now, anong blouse? Aling blouse ang pipiliin mo na um, mas malaki ang masisave mong amount? Okay? So, kung hindi mo alam kung paano mag-compute, siguro akalain mo ay yung blouse A na lang kasi um, ay yung blouse B na lang kasi yung mas mura yung original price tapos naka-sale pa talaga. But, uh, let's solve kung alin ba talaga sa dalawa yung mas makakasave ka. Alright. So, yung blouse A, the original price is 300. Yung 50% niya, kalahati ng 300 is 150. So, 300 minus 150, that will give you 150. So, yung babayaran mo, 150. Yung blouse B naman, the original price is 200. Yung 20% ng 200 is 20 plus 20, that's 40. So, ayan, 40. So, 200 minus 40, that will give you 160. So, yung sa dalawa, mas malaki ang masisave mo sa blouse A. Kasi mas malaki ng 10 pesos yung babayaran mo sa blouse B. Okay. So, in this case, kung alam mo lang kung paano mag-compute ng discounts, ng percentage, mentally and fast. So, you'd be able to have sound decisions. Okay? So, ito, hopefully, maka, uh, nakatulong, makatulong ito sa inyo in the future in computing discounts and interest. Kasi ka, kadalasan, yung mga interest, it's 5% yung interest, 5% a month, or di ka yung 5-6, yung 5-6 naman, it's 20% yung interest ng 5-6. Okay, so that's basically discounts and interest. Ngayon naman punta tayo sa passing score. Yung passing score, madalas yung mga estudyante, after ng quiz or ng exam, magtatan or ng performance test, magtatanong sila, Ma'am, anong passing score? Ma'am, anong passing score? Yung teachers naman, kung hindi alam kung, kung ano yung passing score, kung paano mag-compute ng passing score, uh, minsan sasagutin na lang, sasagutin na lang na, ewan ko sa inyo, you compute. 
Okay, ganyan. Or minsan magigess na lang out of 10, siguro 5, ganun. So, minsan yung ibang teachers masasyak na lang pag uh, natatanong sila ng estudyante ng, Ma'am, what's the passing score? Okay. So, paano ba talaga mag-compute ang passing score? Yung sa grading system natin dito sa Pilipinas, 75% is the passing rate. Pag nakakuha ka ng grade na 74, that's already bagsak. Okay? Yung 75%, it's a transmuted grade actually. Kasi ang raw score niyan, or the, the, the raw percentage score is 60%. So, kapag ka tinanong tayo ng estudyante, what's the passing score passing score for the quiz or for the exam, they're referring to the, the raw score, uh, yung score na papasa, which will be equivalent to 60% of the test item. Okay? So, paano mag-compute ng 60% mentally and fast as a teacher or as a student? So, you don't have to ask your teacher kung ano ang passing score. Iko-confirm mo na lang. Ma'am, uh, halimbawa, 10 items. So, ma'am, ang passing score ba nito, ma'am, 6? O, oh, edi sasagot na lang si teacher. Okay, yes, 6. Ganon. So, paano mag-compute ng 60%? Again, gamit ang technique na tinuro ko kanina. 60% equals 50% plus 10%. So, again, madali na lang mag-compute ng 50% at saka ng 10% kasi na-discuss na natin yan kanina. For example, we have 60% of 10. So, 60% of 10, kalahati ng 10, that is 5, and 10% ng 10 ay 1. So, 5 plus 1, that will give you 6. So, 60% of 10 is 6. So, more examples, we have 60% of 20. So, kalahati ng 20, that's 10. 10% 10 ng 20 ay 2. So, 10 plus 2, 12. Ano ba, nag-quiz kayo ng 15 items. What's the passing score? So, compute for 60% of 15. So, kalahati ng 15, 7.5. 10% ng 15 ay 1.5. So, 7.5 plus 1.5, that's 7 plus 1, 8.5 plus 0.5, 1. So, 8 plus 1, that is 9. What is 60% of 30? So, pag nag-quiz kayo ng 30 items, anong 60% niyan? Kalahati ng 30 ay 15, 10% ay 3, so 15 plus 3, so that the passing score is 18, or 60% of 30 is 18. Halimba, na-exam kayo ng 40 points, 40 items. So, what's the passing score? So, you compute for 60% of 40. So, kalahati ng 40 ay 20, 10% ay 4, so that's 24. Halimbawa, performance test nyo ay equivalent to 60 points. And what's the passing score? 60% of 60. So, kalahati ng 60 ay 30. 10% ay 6. So, 30 plus 6, that is 36. Okay? So, there are uh, other equivalents aside from those percentages that I have uh, discussed. Example, yung 15%. 15% is just 10% plus kalahati ng 10%. So, 10% plus 5% actually. Ayan. So, these are the other equivalents. So, you may take this quiz for you to check your own understanding to the lesson. You may pause this video. Kasi sunod nito, ibibigay ko na yung mga sagot. Okay? Pause this video and grab a pen and paper and take the quiz. Alright, so the answer to the quiz are... Tararan. Okay, so these are the answers to the quiz. Um, check your answers. Okay, kapag ka may mali, you try to understand kung paano na compute. This time before Natani end ang video, we have a very special guest and excited. Excited na siya actually. Okay, so <laughs> let's welcome our special guest. Hi po, ako po si Nika Marie, grade 3 student, or uh, incoming grade 4 student. Okay, so let's try the technique, ah. you say answer. What is 10% of 600? Um, <laughs> 600. Of 10? 
10 percent of 600 60. 60 very good okay another what is 10 percent of 40 10 uh, 10 percent of 40 10 percent four four very good 20 percent of 60 12 12 very good correct <laughs> okay um 50 percent 50 50 percent of um, 50 percent of 60 percent of 60 um 30 30 very good correct <laughs> uh, last na last what is 20 percent of 20 percent of 30 30 um 20 six, six? okay six very good all right thank you bye, -bye. bye, -bye. All right, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like if you like the video and also subscribe. Click on the, the red subscribe and uh, click on the notif notification bell for you to be notified if there are new videos na ma, um, ma post ko. All right, thank you very much and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.